Hey, what's up, guys? Papa N is back, ready for round two. Today, we are going to be learning a little bit more about the Eucharist. We've got a few interviews planned. We've got a few Bible verses, maybe. Who knows? Um, and yeah, so just sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and get ready to expand your knowledge on the Eucharist. Enjoy. All right, for our first guest, we have Colby Boggs. Yay! All right, Colby. How you been? How you, how you doing? Pretty good. Getting them getting them them feels feels rode out nice like. Yes. All right. Let's dive right into the information. So, do you know what the Eucharist is, Colby? Look at the camera, bud. Look at the camera. Tell tell um, the camera. Isn't that just some cracker uh, that uh, religious people eat on uh, Wednesdays? Good try. Good try. That was close. No. No, no it's not. The Eucharist is a sacrament in itself and it's also the body of Christ. It's just it's a, it's a wonderful wonderful ceremony. You should try it out sometimes and it's actually celebrated on Sundays. All right, so now let's dive into the scriptural background. Do you know anything about 1 Corinthians verse 11, 23 through 25? Why yes, I do. Oh. Yeah, he um, Isn't that where it says, for I, gosh, I, I can't think of it right now. Uh, it, 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 just, just take your time, take your time, friend. Um, it's where it says, for I have received on, from the Lord what I pass on to you, or mm -hmm. that night he was mm -hmm. betrayed. He took bread, gave it, uh, gave it to his disciples and said, eat, eat of it. Uh, I believe what you meant to say towards the end. It was really good. It was really good until until the end. And that's when he said, on the night he was betrayed, oh. he took the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. Oh. And I give it unto you. Uh, I was a little off. A little but it is good. Good try. Well, those were some good tries by Colby, but we're going to try and get some some really juicy answers, some really some good answers, something that will leave everybody wanting more, you know? All right, guys, we're back with another interview. We have Derek Smith here, a uh, famous track star, local track star. Um, so he goes to church every Sunday, so hopefully we get some good answers out of him. So, Derek, what does the Eucharist actually do? Well, the Eucharist increases our grace, virtue, and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wow, that is interesting. Derek, are there any requirements that I should know about before going in and celebrating the sacrament of the Eucharist? Why, yes, there are. First, you need to have fasted for one hour before eating the Eucharist. Next, you need to be pure of venial sin. Hmm. And finally, you need to truly believe that Bread and wine are truly the body and blood of Christ. Wow. That is very interesting. Thank you, Derek. I knew that you would be such a great a great interview to have because of of how strongly you believe in this faith and how how much time and effort you have put into your into your faith. So thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What is up guys? We're back. Those last answers we got weren't quite what we were looking for. So I have traveled all the way across the world to China, to northern China, deep into the mountains to find the oldest living Catholic monk. And lo and behold, I found him. One fortune cookie. That's not the type of information I'm here for, sir. Fortune cookies are good. I am here to know what is forgiveness. Forgiveness is when you eat the Eucharist at Mass and it forgives you your venial sins. Wow. What, oh great monk, what does true strength mean? Strength is when God helps you fight your urges to commit sin. Really? Okay. What, is, what does true unity mean? Unity is true unity with God and togetherness. Wow. I am just, I have gained so much information from this great monk. Thank you, monk. I'm sorry I crushed your fortune cookie. Well, I have learned so much today about the Eucharist, and I hope you guys have too. 
because I have traveled all over just to learn about this. Something I could have learned in just my normal, everyday Theology 11 class. Alright guys, this is, this is Papa N, and I'm peacing out.